been about uh, three days since we applied the CSL and the graphene matrix to this panel. Wanted to do some water spot testing, compare them to, but first I want to show you guys the applicators. So this is the graphene coating, this is the graphene matrix, and this is this is the CSL. So as you can see, there's a, I don't know if you guys can see the, you can see the difference, but there's a pretty big difference in the actual applicator itself and what it crystallizes into. So let's go ahead and do some water spot testing. Pretty good beads here. I'd say this kind of clumps up into a little bit of a bigger, a bigger bead where there seems to be a much more rigid water beading on the uh, graphene side. So it's a little bit more of a sheeter product. As you can see here. A little faster. Watch the two side by side. See the difference? We'll let this sit on here, etch into the surface, and let's see how the water spots look. All right, it's been out here for about 30 minutes, and as you can see, we got a good amount of water spotting on both sides of the panel. The water we have here is really, really hard. Uh, it's five to 600 parts per million, which I don't even think should be legal, <laughs> but it's it's pretty bad. Uh, we got some pretty big contamination here on, on both sides. So we'll go ahead and wash the panel and see what it takes to remove the spots from both sides and see how everything holds up here. So. Keep in mind, there's a difference between water spotting and water spot etching. This is an important point we will discuss further in the video. Taking a little look at the hydrophobics. So, be washing with Adam's car shampoo, pH neutral, no protectants in it. Still noticing that difference in hydrophobics, but. Streaky. All right. Detail spray, just basically gonna remove the spots on here. Take a look. All right, so I don't know if you can see this, but right away we got quite a few big spots. And we have some other etchings basically throughout the panel. Let's see if we can get some more light. There's another one. Pretty consistent throughout the spotting, especially here in the center. Of these, I and mean, there's some pretty bad ones. Whereas on this side, we have, let's see if there's, here's probably the biggest one I can see. Waterless wash. Oh. 
so we still got a couple big ones. So we had a few on this side here. The ceramic doesn't look like really anything changed from, from both cleanings. You know, we definitely can still see a couple big ones here on the front of the panel, just in just by the naked eye, as well as if you look closer, a lot of just the more residual etching throughout. You definitely see more from this angle. That one's really bad here. Um, whereas the graphene side, so now that we use the detail spray and a waterless wash, and we had a couple up here that were a little more visible, that are definitely knocked down just from just from that. So graphene side definitely seems to be much less etching in terms of actually removing the water spots, you know, versus the crystal serum side here. All right, let's beat it up with some chemicals. I like Dawn just because it's con pretty consistent. Some of you guys can replicate easily without having to buy specific chemicals and it doesn't leave any residue. And these are still, let's see if the Dawn takes care of it. Do another test. Starting to see a little bit of a beat down here with the CSL versus graphene matrix. All right, there you have it, guys. Just wanted to do some quick testing, show you some side-by-side -side results. And we did obviously application on both sides. Um, did our water spot testing, a little bit of chemical resistance testing with our Dawn soap. Okay, so the reason we like using the Dawn soap is it's a good baseline. 
It's something anyone could buy anywhere. It's reliable, consistent. The formulation doesn't change much between each batch. And it's also the same soap we use in our internal El Camino scrub testing. Uh, so it's something we baseline throughout. So once again, you know, feel free to do your own testing, your own results. We'd love to see the feedback. You know, we're always looking for ways to improve. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Let us know what you think. So there you have it. You can see how both coatings held up in our durability testing. Now in this testing, we performed some water spot testing, a water contact angle, water bead testing, as well as some chemical durability testing with our Dawn soap. These are the results we found. And this is the application we are showing you here in terms of prepping the panel and installing the coatings to both sides. So go ahead and feel free if you want to watch the entire install process, you can go ahead and do that. We also want to talk about the difference between water spotting and water spot etching, as there are some confusion between both. So water spotting happens from minerals or contaminants in water that are left to dry on a surface and are left behind. So once the water evaporates from the surface, if you have you know, contaminants in a water bead, Whatever water is removed, whatever contaminants are left on the surface will form a ring-shaped contam contamination on the surface, and no that's known as a water spot. Now, water spot's made up of minerals, it's made of contaminants in the water, um, even contaminants in the air that are floating around before the water dries. So this is water spotting. This something is not, is not avoidable just due to the nature of the chemistry of water itself. Unless you're using deionized water or distilled water that has no minerals and contaminants in it, the water spotting is unavoidable. What we wanna look for in a coating or in a protective quality of a product is to reduce the chance of water spot etching. Now water spot etching happens when these minerals in their alkaline nature will actually etch into the surface of the paint or into the coating itself. Now this etching is not fixable without having to polish or compound uh, away the damage. So having a good resistance to chemicals you know, alkalinity and acidic chemicals as well does play a really important part in preventing this water spot etching from occurring. So there's no way to completely prevent water spot etching currently, but there are coatings on the market like our graphene matrix, which has shown some really great repellency into water spot etching as we showed in this video compared to the crystal serum light. So take that all in mind and definitely appreciate you guys watching. Let us know if you have any other questions and we'll see you guys in the next video.